Is number one, storytelling. I'm going to explain the power of storytelling. Now underneath storytelling, I want you to draw two little lines and, and you need to write paint pictures, tell stories. Painting pictures, when I say things, when I talk, when I'm using my hands, I'm painting a picture, not only with my tonality, not only with my posture, not only with my eyes, not only with my body language, but also with my hands. I'm painting a picture, I'm about to tell a story. Storytelling is done through tonality. Now underneath that, I also want you to write influencing and persuading. Now to persuade, you guys know the definition, is called transfer of emotion. I'm gonna take the way that I feel and I'm gonna push it in you. Can I ask you a question? If you were gonna read a kid a bedtime story and you were to just read the book, The Three Little Bears Went Down the Road, down to, kids wouldn't wanna listen. They never want you to read another bedtime story in your life. But if you said, there was three little bears and they went down the store, step by step. They went, See, that is called storytelling. This point forward in our life, I want us to make a commitment together and this is how we're gonna crush everybody. You ready? We're gonna keep our word. Okay, we're gonna keep our word. That means what we say we're going to do, we're gonna do. And I wanna explain why so many people hate salespeople. And they, people get caught up on the paint pictures, tell stories stuff. They're like, oh, I knew that he was telling a story. No, 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 listen to me. Whatever I say I'm gonna do, I freaking do it. Now I can influence and persuade however I want. I can articulate my words however I want to get you to understand the picture and, and what I'm going to give you and what you'll be gonna be getting with this product. Everybody say, tell a story. Can I, you, you guys wanna get rich? Yeah. You wanna get rich? Stop selling, start telling stories. Tell, tell a story, what do, you, what do you want? What do I want you to do? Can I explain it in such a way that my words flow like water? Does that make sense? Guys, it's called being a pro. Understand, if you never wanna miss a deal again, you'll understand why I'm writing down all this stuff. There's amateurs and there's pros. And in a world full of amateurs, this is how we're gonna dominate. I'm gonna put speaking confidence and rate of speech. Okay, now listen, I'm gonna explain this to you. I'm not asking any of you to be me. Is energy important, yes or no? Why, why is energy important? It shows your passion. Bam, just nailed it. This explains to me why you're the trusted expert why I should go with you, because you're passionate. Has anybody ever seen people do stuff that they really don't genuinely love to do? It's like they have to do it. Someone comes out to your house. I see people go to people's houses and literally it's like, this guy's still a stranger. What did I say? Still a stranger. Dude, when people are around my property, if you feel like a stranger, I'm out. I'm like, hey, hit me up when you're done. When you go and you're passionate about what you do, like when you show up to people's property, you should be showing up to their property like that's your property. Does that make sense? Remember, this is your business, that's your house, those are your trees, that's your family member. This is how you talk to people. You gotta cut the leash. You gotta change. Who you are right now is exactly why you have what you have in your life right now. Some of you, you don't have the bank account you really, really want. Change. If you'll listen to me today, you're gonna destroy it. You will close 10 for 10. You will be like Alcatraz. No one will escape you, and no joke. Like, I'm being dead serious. No one would dare not choose you. I'm like, well, how in the hell am I gonna get them to believe in me if I'm not framing, everybody say framing. Framing my questions, framing my script to move people forward and advance them closer to where I want them to go. So, I wanna, I wanna give you my framing, ready? Hey, what's going on? It's Andy down here at ABC Motors, where you bought your last car from. That's the first thing I say out the gate, where you bought your last car from, because I'm creating familiarity. Like, I'm not a stranger, I'm not cold calling you, I'm not from AT&T, right? It's Andy down here at ABC Motors, where you bought your last car from. I say this, I was reviewing your account. When somebody goes, I got your account pulled up, you're like, man, what account? I'm creating interest. So I said, it's Andy down here at ABC Motors where you bought your last car from. I was reviewing your account. I say, it's extremely important. And then everybody say, rephrase. rephrase. People won't always remember what you said, but they'll always remember the way you made them feel. People won't always remember what you said during a negotiation, but they'll always remember the last sentence that came out of your mouth. So I do quick pops. The rephrases. I say, hey, uh, can I get 30 seconds? Because that's the last thing they hear. Hey, what's going on? It's Andy down here at ABC Motors where you bought your last car from. I was reviewing your account. It's extremely important. Can I get 30 seconds? All I need is about 30 seconds. They say, oh yeah, you get 30 seconds. See, what did I do? Now I've got them to give me permission. Everybody say, earn the right. 
You wanna ask for somebody's business? You gotta earn the right to ask for it. Some of you know about that, some of you don't. I need to earn the right to get more time. 